guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Today I actually wanted to do the new YouTubers tab. I just watched one of these the other day and I didn't even know that it existed. So I thought it would be super fun to do just because I am a new YouTuber. Um, and it would be kind of a nice way for you guys to get to know me a little bit better. So yeah, let's just get started with the questions. Okay, so I have my questions on my phone. Okay, first question is your first name. If you can't tell by my channel, my first name is Alyssa. Um, that's about it. So second question is reasons for starting YouTube. Um, I have been watching YouTube videos for so long, like, Sorry, I just realized my candle wasn't lit and we cannot have a video without a candle. Um, so the second question is reasons for starting YouTube. I have watched YouTube videos for years, probably since high school, honestly, and I am now 26 years old. So I've been watching YouTube videos for years and I have always been into makeup. So. This past year, I eventually was just like, you know what, I wanna do this myself. I think it'd be so fun. Just a nice little like creative outlet to kind of share my love of makeup with other people. It would be a nice way to meet people. Um, so yeah, that's why I got started. So yeah, so luckily enough, my darling boyfriend got me a camera and I got started. Um, I've been on YouTube for a couple of months and I love every single one of you that has subscribed to my channel. I don't have very many, but that is totally okay with me because that's not really why I'm doing it. I'm just doing it to, I don't know, give you guys tips and tricks and meet people and freak out over the latest beauty products with people and stuff like that. So yeah, that's pretty much why I started YouTube. The third question is, when did you get passionate about makeup? I have literally always loved makeup. My mother was someone who was obsessed with makeup she would not leave the house without having her makeup on she I don't recommend this but she always did her makeup in the car I mean she would not go anywhere without makeup on which is funny looking back on it because she was so stunning and so beautiful and had the most perfect skin um so it's just kind of funny to me that she didn't want to leave the house without makeup because she totally could but I'm getting sidetracked um a funny story that she always used to tell about me, I was like five years old and I put her lipstick on my lips after church one day and I looked at her and I just went, mommy, do I have any lipstick on my lips? <laughs> and it's just funny when she used to tell that story because it's so me, like five years old and putting lipstick on. So I have really, truly always loved makeup. I always have, I've always been fascinated by it. Um, and then once my mom let me wear makeup, like in seventh grade, I got to wear like lip gloss. <laughs> um, I was so excited. And ever since then, I've just loved makeup. So really since I've been a little kid, I never went through that like tomboy phase and didn't like makeup. I've always loved it. So number four is what other interests do you have besides makeup? My other interests, I don't have any like hobbies, I guess. I don't know, I'm kind of a boring person. I guess it's kind of cliche, but I just really like hanging out with my friends and family. <laughs> um, I like being with my dog. I like snuggling up on the couch and watching Netflix. Like I'm boring. I really don't have any hobbies other than makeup and I work full time. So it's not like I really have time to do anything else. <laughs> I like to shop. How ditzy do I sound? I love makeup and I like to shop. <laughs> Ridiculous. Um, the next question, something odd about you. Oh gosh, there's a lot odd about me. I'm a weird person. I'm like so weird. I, if you guys watch my videos, you've probably seen me talking like these weird voices. Like I'll do random accents, I'll do random voices. I don't know, I'm like that kind of person. I just, I'm just weird. So, I don't know if that's something like super odd about me, but I think that's what I would say is that's what's weird about me is that I'm weird and I do these weird voices and 
Like if my boyfriend Mike says something or one of my family members says something that I just want to make fun of, I'll just go into this weird voice and go, my name is Mike and I don't like when you talk like that. And like that's, that's, that's something odd about me. That's not normal to talk like that, but I do it all the time. I don't know why, but that's just me. I, I guess I'm a little entertaining. I don't know. Favorite TV show? <sighs> Guys, there's, I like anything just mindless. I love reality TV, I have to say. I love The Housewives. I loved Jersey Shore when it was on. I loved The Real World when it was on. Um, but I, uh, right now I definitely love The Housewives. I love anything pretty much on Bravo. I like shows that are mindless. There is so much crap going on in this world today. And I tell this to people all the time. There's just so much crap going on in this world today that's so sad that I don't really like to sit around and watch shows like The Blacklist or The Walking Dead or like anything that just is scary and sad and people are dying. I don't know. Call me crazy, but that is just me. I, I'm not knocking you if you do love those shows because I know some of them are like really amazing shows. But I just struggle watching that stuff sometimes because, I don't know, you hear about these terrible things every day that, to me, I just don't want to sit down after a long day of work and watch more of it. You know what I mean? So I just like really funny shows. I love Modern Family. Um, I love like HGTV. I love House Hunters. I love all that kind of stuff. So anything kind of like reality based, I just am obsessed with. But I have to say right now, Mike and I are watching Scandal on Netflix because everybody and their grandfather talks about how great Scandal is. So that's like the only show, actual like show and series that I'll watch from TV right now. And even Scandal sometimes like, I don't know, sometimes I'm like, oh, I don't want to watch that. I don't want to watch that. Just keep it light and lovey and fun, you know? But I do love Scandal. I also love Gossip Girl, even though that's long gone. Um, so yeah, just easy shows, easy shows that just usually make you more happy than sad. Um, uh, my favorite color, ooh, I love mint. I know that's not an actual color, but I love anything like mint or turquoise or coral or like hot pink. I love bright colors, but it's kind of funny. Those aren't really the colors I wear anymore. I used to wear colors like that, but I don't know. Now I lean towards like black, gray, brown, neutral, just like neutral taupe colors. I don't know. Kind of weird. But as far as just what catches my eye, I love those bright colors. Number eight is what do I do most days? I work. I work full time. Um, I work at an orthopedic office which, bleh. Um, but yeah, I work full time, so that's what I'm doing most days. <laughs> if I'm not working, I try to film as much as I possibly can so I can get videos up for you guys. Um, or I'm with my family, I'm with my friends. Nothing super crazy, but that's what I do most days. Number nine, are you a spender or a saver? I am most definitely a spender. I... It's not to say that I can't save money because I absolutely can and I do try to, but if I see something, I'm like, nope, I want it, I'm gonna get it. And that's not always the best way to have your mindset, but I'm definitely a spender. If you were a Disney princess, who would you be? I feel like everybody says Jasmine because she's just stunning and beautiful, which don't get me wrong, I love Jasmine, but what about Ariel? or Ariel, however you say it, from The Little Mermaid. Like, to just be able to swim around all day and have beautiful, long, flowing hair. Yes. My, oh dear. Number 11 is my favorite beauty product. I mean, I can give you a category of beauty products, but I cannot limit it to like, what is my holy grail? Hands down, could only use one product the rest of your life. I. Don't even know how I would answer that. I would have to say that hands down my favorite beauty product category is lips. Um, 
mostly lip gloss, lip balm, etc., etc. I just always, I've always been this way, like since I've gotten into makeup, I've always had to have something on my lips. Like if I'm walking around and I forget to put my lip gloss on or I don't have any lip balm with me and I'm just bare lipped, I literally can't stand it. It drives me insane. So yeah, I think I'd have to say anything to do with the lips. Anything that's moisturizing or glossy on the lips. Need it in my life, can't live without it. Favorite perfume? This is a fact about me. I don't really wear perfume. I have, the only like high-end perfume I have is the original Chloe perfume that you can get like from Sephora or whatever. And I do love the way that that smells, but it's a little too warm for me sometimes. Um, so I don't wear it every day. I don't know. Anytime I've gotten a perfume, I forget to put it on. Like I just forget to wear it throughout my life. I've never been a perfume person. I want to be a perfume person. So if you guys have any recommendations, leave them down below. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I've never gotten into perfume, but I guess I probably should because I want to. Number 13 is favorite song. How, I mean, how can anybody answer that? I'll tell you some of my favorite songs right now. I have like a lot of favorite songs. I love oldies music. I love music from like the 50s and early 60s. I love Drake. I love pop music. I love country music. I love literally all sorts of music. Musics? I love all sorts of music, but I'll play you, I don't know, some of my favorites right now. This is a throwback, but Beyonce slays my life. I mean, literally that song just gives me, I just love that song. I think it's so cute, it's so happy. I love this song right now. My boyfriend loves this song right now. It's like all he plays. Currently obsessed with this song. love drake i love old school drake I, I love justin bieber's new album i literally just love so many different types of music so those are just a few that i've been playing non-stop lately but yeah and zan oh that's funny the last question is my favorite lipstick um i actually did a video on my favorite lipsticks I don't know. I can't, I don't know. I can't narrow it down to one favorite, but I love anything that's like a light pink. I love Gerard Cosmetics um, Buttercup Lip Gloss. I love Primrose from Revlon. I love Airy Fairy from Rimmel. You know what I just noticed is I really don't have a lot of high-end lipsticks. I tend to go more drugstore. I don't know why. So again, if you guys have many more, no problem here. Again, if you guys have any suggestions for any lipsticks you think I should try out from like Sephora or Ulta or whatever. I don't know why I don't have more high-end lipsticks. That's so weird. Um, but yeah, anything that's like a light pink that's neutral and you can wear every day. So that is it for this tag video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. This was really fun to do just to let you guys get to know, I guess, a little bit more about me. Um, Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and enjoyed my little dance session there. <laughs> um, if you guys are new to my channel and you enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more craziness, basically. Um, and yeah. So I'll see you guys in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye.